ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another champions league match day prediction video we're already on match day five now obviously as you might know from the last match day we are basically just seeing a lot of repeats as many of these teams have already played each other once but yeah across the past few months we have seen form for some of these teams change massively so anything's possible here of course my last match day predictions unfortunately i forgot to play my times two booster which definitely costed me and overall, I'm still hitting a score of about 40 points. The only scoreline I got 100% correct was Porto versus Antwerp. But yeah, many things wrong, such as Barcelona not being able to beat Shakhtar. AC Milan scoring their first two goals in the Champions League. I thought they would still go through a drought. Thankfully, I was able to witness Liao's wonder goal. Many draws I went for, which didn't come to life. And for some reason in my head, I told myself that Copenhagen would win this match. And somehow, I said it would finish a nil-nil draw. Far from that, 4-3 Copenhagen win. This match day could be unpredictable as well because we're seeing many clubs going through quite a bit of injuries. Still though, I'll try to give you guys my best possible thoughts. As always though, please, if you haven't already, drop a new like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. Starting off with Shakhtar versus Antwerp. Shakhtar are playing all of their home matches at Hamburg and they have been fantastic there. On the last match day, they even were able to beat Barcelona there 1-0. Still though, they sit at third place with six points, three points behind Barcelona to be fair, but if they're able to get a result here, they could definitely continue to compete for second place. And if they're able to get a draw or win, they will be securing a Europa League spot minimum. I don't see why they wouldn't be able to do it against Antwerp. Of course, anything's possible, but they sit at the bottom of the group with zero wins. Last time they faced Shakhtar, it was a close fight, finishing 2-3 at their own home ground. But this time, like I said, Shakhtar, very impressive at Hamburg. And for the most part, they have been pulling their strings. So I'm saying they can grab a win here. Why not? I'm saying they're able to beat Antwerp 2-0. Now for Lazio versus Celtic. As we know, Lazio have had some absolutely clutch moments in the Champions League. I bring it up every single match day, but it just keeps happening. After Feyenoord demolished them 3-1, they got a comeback against them, beating them 1-0 on their home ground. And as we already know from the first match day, they were able to grab an equalizer against Atletico Madrid from their goalkeeper scoring in the dying minutes. And then against Celtic away, Pedro scored a 95th minute winner. Their form in the City A has been shaken for sure they currently set at 11th place they've already beaten celtic last time like i mentioned will it be another clutch moment though or will it be a more clean victory celtic's last result was a 6-0 thrashing to atletico madrid i think they can put up a better fight this time but i am going to go for another 2-0 scoreline obviously though going lazio's way now for barcelona versus porto barcelona are going through quite a bit of injuries such as gavi not being present after picking up something in the last international break already mentioned that Shakhtar were able to upset them in the last match day and their last two results in la liga have not been the most convincing a narrow win against alaves and a draw to rayo velicano porto on the other hand have been in extremely solid form the last match they did lose was against barcelona all the way back in october and it was a narrow 1-0 scoreline this is going to be an incredible matchup because both these sides are tied with nine points at the top so it could potentially be a first place decider despite this match being at the camp now i still think it's going to be extremely close even if it goes barcelona's way more of a flip of a coin than people think who knows barcelona can return their form and just absolutely outshine porto of course i won't be surprised if porto prove me wrong and grab the win but i am going to say barcelona narrowly do it here 2-1 victory for them moving on to young boys versus servant Vezda. very underrated matchup here as yeah, neither of these sides are going to be advancing to the next round. It's basically confirmed. They're both at the bottom with just one point, both not grabbing a single win yet, as Manchester City and RB Leipzig have confirmed their knockout spots. But this essentially could be the battle of who will secure Europa League. Last time they finished in a 1-1 draw, both of these sides have very similar form domestically as well, both sitting at second place in their country. So genuinely a flip of a coin here. Anything's possible, but I'm going to go for Cervantes Vezda just pulling through for a 1-0 victory. Now taking a look at the other matchup in this group, Manchester City versus RB Leipzig. Manchester City are definitely the favorites here, but with Kevin De Bruyne injured, they're obviously not as potent. Still though, the depth is absolutely next level in this squad. They just picked up a draw to Liverpool, blowing their 1-0 lead, but that's one of, if not their toughest competitor in the Premier League. This weekend, RB Leipzig just picked up a loss to Wolfsburg 2-1, and earlier this month also lost to Mainz 2-0. An amazing squad still, but they have been caught slipping at moments. I think Manchester City still definitely has what it takes to secure that first place spot in this Champions League group. I'm saying they're able to defeat RB Leipzig at the Etihad 3-1. Moving on to AC Milan versus Dortmund. This matchup is a headache to predict. Both of these sides are going to go a little bit more confident than previously. 
Dorman were able to get the best out of Newcastle both times they faced them after everyone was hyping up the tune for defeating PSG 4-1. Meanwhile, AC Milan did score their first two goals in the Champions League in the last match day, defeating PSG at the San Siro. Their man of the match though, Rafael Leao, is injured. He is expected to recover by this match, but it's a bit unclear if he'll actually be starting. Of course, AC Milan picked up a lot of signings that do increase the depth in this position, but he's proven to be one of their key men for sure. A few center backs on the side injured as well, but they still have their star man Tomori available. AC Milan returned from this international break with the win against Fiorentina 1-0. Although having some inconsistent moments and lacking some goal scoring threat, it's fair to say that it looks like their confidence is returning. Dorman, despite doing so well against Newcastle, have been still a bit inconsistent losing to Bayern Munich 4-0, then Stuttgart before the international break, but after it, they did pick up a 4-2 victory against Borussia Mönchengladbach. But it's fair to say that so far, the group of death has been living up to the hype. Look at the standings with Dortmund at first place with 7 points, but PSG are in second with 6, AC Milan trail at third with 5, and Newcastle are at the bottom with 4. It's very hard for me to pick a winner for this one. I'm gonna go with a 1-1 draw. The other match in this group, PSG versus Newcastle. PSG did just pick up a loss to AC Milan at the San Siro. Definitely did not look as electric there compared to the first time they played them, where they demolished them at France 3-0. And yeah, like I already mentioned, this matchup has already been played, where Newcastle did defeat PSG 4-1. That got their confidence booming, but now Newcastle have a ton of injuries, which does leave me a bit worried because PSG have been solid at home. The squad still has depth, sure, but against PSG, I think they're going to be very motivated to get revenge here after that embarrassment at St. James's Park. That being said, even with all these injuries, Newcastle were still able to get a 4-1 victory against PSG. Maybe Eddie Howe does know how to tactically destroy the French club, but I do think PSG can grab revenge here with a narrow result of 2-1. This matchup, though, also has a lot of potential drama Feyenoord versus Atletico Madrid. Atletico currently sit at the top but anything can change depending on the Lazio result and also if Feyenoord beat them they could potentially go all the way down to third place. The last time these two sides faced Atletico Madrid were able to get a 3-2 victory super close, and Santiago Jimenez was not present in that match. Meanwhile, Atletico Madrid got one of the biggest results in the Champions League so far against Celtic. I don't know, this would be a massive result for Feyenoord. Like I said, potential first place spot for them is up for grabs. I'm torn about this, but I'm gonna say it finishes in a thriller of a 2-2 draw. Now for Sevilla versus PSV. I said this many times, but another tough one to call. PSV have been phenomenal in the Eredivisie, 13 for 13 wins. But in the Champions League, they did already pick up two draws and one loss. Only one win there. Meanwhile, Sevilla have no wins, two draws, and two losses. But they will be looking to bounce back if they want to secure that Europa League position, which we all know they love. In La Liga, though, it hasn't been looking pretty for them. 15th place. I'm going for another draw here. I'm going to say it finishes 1-1. Now for Galatasaray versus Manchester United. Manchester United just coming off with a massive win against Everton, where we saw Garnacho get that beautiful bicycle kick, but prior to that in the Champions League, they lost to Copenhagen 4-3. The defense was looking woeful there. There's a lot of problems going on through the dressing room in this club, but the United fans will now be hopeful for this match. Despite losing to Galatasaray last time at Old Trafford as well, they should be able to bounce back, but it's going to be tough in Turkey. Every football fan knows how amazing of a fan base Galatasaray can be. It's going to be a very difficult away fixture and they're going to be absolutely confident and shining after defeating them already at Old Trafford. Very interesting group. Bayern Munich already had that first place on lockdown, but second, third, and fourth place is all up for grabs. United set at the bottom at the moment. They desperately need a win here. If I were to make this prediction before the Everton match, I would say Galatasaray are going to be clear and grab a 2-1 victory, but I don't know. Now I'm starting to question that belief. I'm torn, but I'm going to have to go for my third draw in a row. I'm going to say it finishes 2-2. Two to two. Many injuries on the United squad, including Hoyund. But the attack was very present against Everton. Sure, the club is not in a good state right now after that 10-point deduction. They aren't looking to be in the best spirits. I think it's going to be a similar display against Copenhagen last time around, where they're able to score the goals, but still have a bit of a shocker defensively. Now for Real Sociedad versus Salzburg. Real Sociedad have been in very impressive form, and they have already secured a knockout spot in the Champions League. So maybe Salzburg could be a bit more motivated in this fixture because they still need to solidify a Europa League spot over Benfica. Sure though, Real Sociedad aren't going to take this matchup lightly because 
they need to solidify that first place spot. They're tied on points with Inter at the moment. Real Sociedad have been getting points in nearly all their matches in La Liga. The only times they've actually lost were against the big dogs in La Liga, Barcelona, Real Madrid, and Atletico Madrid. We'll see if Salzburg are able to do it away, but I'm going to say Real Sociedad grab a 2-0 victory. The other match in this group, Benfica versus Inter Milan. Massive contrast for Benfica from last year to this year. Last year, they were flying in the Champions League. This time around, they are one of the worst sides. They have only scored one goal so far and lost all of their matches. And not to mention, they already have a terrible track record in recent times against Inter Milan. Even if they're the home side, I don't see them doing it here. Pretty much everything I say about Benfica goes the opposite way. So we'll see if they can grab their first win here. But I'm going to say Inter Milan are able to win 1-0. Taking a look now at Braga versus Union Berlin. Union Berlin have really fallen down to an all-time low. They are in relegation zone in the Bundesliga. As nothing's changed from the last video, they have still failed to grab a win since August. They picked up a few draws here and there, including in the Champions League against Napoli. And last time they did put up an interesting fight against Braga, but Castro was able to score a 94th minute winner, which sealed the three points for the Portuguese club. I'd love to see Union Berlin turn things around, but based on their form, it's safe to say that they won't. Lots of people are going for a narrow scoreline here based on the popular predictions, but I'm going to say Braga are able to win 3-1. to one. Real Madrid versus Napoli now. Real Madrid with quite a bit of injuries. Vinicius Jr. being the main one, but also Camavinga and Chouameni. But now both of their keepers are going to be out as well. Definitely Napoli can take advantage of their situation. But no matter what, we still see some players come in absolutely clutch for this club. No matter the situation they're in. Jude Bellingham, the iconic example. He has been one of the best players this year. Not sure how this one is going to go, but I will say that Real Madrid are still slightly the favorites to win here, and they will win this 2-1. Moving on to Arsenal versus Lanz. Arsenal looking to grab their revenge here. This is the only side that's beaten them so far in the Champions League. Lanz have proved me wrong many times, but with this match now being at the Emirates, I see Arsenal grabbing a solid 2-0 victory. And the final match we're looking at, Bayern Munich versus Copenhagen. Everyone's going for a Bayern Munich demolition here, especially if they're playing at the Allianz Zarina, but don't sleep on Copenhagen necessarily. They've been putting off fantastic fights throughout the competition. Everything has been pretty close. Even last time they faced Bayern Munich, they only lost 2-1. to one. They already have second place, and they're going to be motivated to continue that momentum, as it's still very close between Galatasaray and Manchester United. With Bayern Munich already securing first place in this group, they might not be as motivated, but I'm still going to say they grab the win here. I just think it's going to be more narrow than people think. I will go for 2-1. to one. Well, there you have it, guys. Those are all of my Champions League predictions for Match Day 5. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is the second to last Match Day. Then we have Match Day 6, followed with the draw for the knockouts. Best of luck to your club. Don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already. I will see you all very, very soon. Take care. Lock and watch.